Hello, welcome back. Uh, the video on this watch has been a long time coming. I've had this watch well over two years. I believe this was my fourth automatic. When I started collecting, I got uh, two rather inexpensive Chinese automatic watches. Then I was gifted a Seiko 5 and I purchased the Seiko 5. I believe I paid like around $90 for this. The first thing I need to point out on this watch, this is not the original band. The band that these come on are rather trashy, of very low quality. If you purchase one of these, know that you're probably going to need to upgrade the band at some point. This band I got off of AliExpress, I believe it was like $12.08. It's 10 times the quality of what came on this watch. See. Well, it's from AliExpress, so of course it's it's faking that it's for a TSO, but and also know that when I when I bought this, I originally bought bands for this and another Seiko 5 that I have because it said in the description that they were 18 millimeter. They're not eight. Well, this particular one is not 18 millimeter. This is 19 millimeter. So I was rather annoyed when I the description on this watch was not right. But this is a pretty good little watch for the price, even though I had to put another band on it. So probably all in I got with the purchase of the watch and this band, a hundred, maybe a hundred and five dollars total. This watch I feel is somewhat small for me because I have a bigger than average wrist. They're only 37 millimeters. But I guess it does look all right on there. This watch is a little banged up now for me wearing it. And since I've replaced the band, I'm wearing it a lot more again. You can't go wrong with a Seiko 5. Most Seiko 5s, they're discontinued now because the movement that's in here, they no longer make it. But it's my understanding that they have tens of thousands of these movements in reserve. Let's get into the particulars of this watch. This is the Seiko 5. SNX S75. 37 millimeters in circumference. Spot on. Uh, it's listed as 12 millimeters thick. And this band is 19. This is an aftermarket band that I purchased, like I, like I said. Originally, I, I, like I said, I had purchased an 18 millimeter band to replace this and it didn't fit. This is a rather inexpensive band, but much better than what it, what it came with. Has a hard looks crystal, you know, just mineral glass. These have the 7S 26 movement in them. They do not hand wind, they do not hack. This is where the term Seiko shake comes up. You got to sit here and spin them. And they, they strictly wind by the motion of your wrist. This is where the term the Seiko shake come, like I said, come out of these watches. This watch is a little scratched up and said, I've been wearing this watch for well over two years. There was a brief period, like I said, that I wasn't watching it, wearing it anymore, simply because the band did not wear well and it was kind of like falling apart. If you purchase one of these, like I said, you're not gonna be happy with the band. You're gonna feel like you need to upgrade it and to be quite honest, which you, you really do. But this does have a nice dial on it. It does have a day date, which is bordered. All the batons are applied. Seiko and Seiko 5 are actually applied. Automatic is painted on. And they're pretty, they're pretty nice watches for, for what you spend. You're getting a lot of watch. Um, now that I got to zoom, I got quite a few scratches in this watch. But like I said, I've been wearing this watch. I wear this watch, again, now that the new band is on there, I'm wearing this watch a lot more again. Let me do a loom shot. For what this watch is, it has excellent loom. It still has the Seiko loom on it. It's excellent loom. So here we are. We're going to do the loom shot on this Seiko 5. Nothing to complain about on the loom of the Seiko 5. It has the regular Seiko loom, 
quite impressive for the price point of the watch. And that loom has staying power and it'll stay bright for quite a while. It'll stay recognizable for quite a while. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. In conclusion, my opinion, my thoughts on the Seiko 5. Excellent watches for the money. The bands suck. I own two Seiko 5s. I've had to replace the band on both of them. I'll do the other Seiko 5 at a later date. The watch itself, pretty happy with it. For less than $100, it's a great watch. But eventually you're probably going to have to upgrade the band, whether it be a leather band. I prefer steel. I prefer stainless bands. Nothing super spectacular. I mean, if you're going to buy like an AliExpress watch, I would probably go with the Seiko. Simply, it's a name brand watch. It's certainly not going to appreciate. It's certainly not any type of collector's watch. But they're pretty solid timepieces for the money. I like them. I have this and I have a blue-faced one. Nice watches, decent watches. This has stood the test of time. I have banged this watch up quite a bit. Got quite a few scratches in it. But it's not an expensive watch by any means. But you probably pick this up for right around $90. And again, this particular model, uh, the band really, really sucks. Not that it's anything super spectacular now on this band. It's just more tolerable. Anyway, like I said, no hacking. Pull the crown out, nothing. All right, that's it.